Hello, my name is Tina, and I will be walking you through the web app that we made for CS370, which is Berkeley's tutoring services that we have here. So I will be showing you how a 2D will make an account to use the services. So as a new 2D, I would like to register. So I will click on the register link and uh, I will fill out all my information. Um, this option is for setting uh, priorities, which will come in handy later um, for admin and also for um, picking your meetings. So I will uh, choose 61A and sign up. And now I will receive a link on my email that I need to confirm my account. So here is the email. I click on it. There is a link that says confirm my account. I will click on that to confirm. And now I have successfully confirmed my email. My team also worked on the admin page. There is one generic admin account that we will log into right now. Here, um, the admin has uh, access to set semester and courses. So if he wants to update the semester, he can go to this tab. He can modify to the desired um, modifications and update it. And the admin can also uh, update courses which we will demonstrate right now. Um, for example, we don't have E16B, and once we add that, it should show up on our course list. And we see the confirmation message that, uh, that shows the admin that it has been updated. Uh, here, um, I will be showing you um, what will happen within the typical session for a student. Um, just to briefly mention, if the student forgets their password, they can recover that through um, this link. But let's log in and take a look at what we can do there. So one of the um, most um, important things is for students to be able to make a request. So if we open the request tab, um, they can actually see that they won't be able to make it for now because one of the rules is that they have to fill out the evaluations from previous meetings that they had before they are able to make a new request. So let's go to the evaluation tab and see if we have anything pending. And here you can see that there is a pending status on this um, meeting that they had with OSCiver. Um, let's click on the pen, uh, on the pending eval, and now I will fill out the um, evaluation form. And uh, here we gather some information about the quality of the tutoring session, which is uh, later important for keeping track of everything and also for the admin to evaluate the tutors and they can add any additional comments that they had about the session. And let's submit the evaluation. And now you can uh, see the confirmation message. Uh, and if we go back to the request, you can see that now the student is able to make a new request, which we will show you um, really briefly. And it shows that it was created now, if we go to the history tab, you can see that there was a session, it was completed, and it has all the information for future reference. Uh, other things that they can do in, on this page is that um, they can choose uh, how many en entries they want to see. As of now, we only have one, but in case um, for uh, future use, the student has more, they can just um, pick more options. Uh, some other thing that I would like to show you is the edit profile tab. Uh, so if you go to edit info, in case if anything is um, off, the student can actually come here and update that information. Uh, one of the things that was really important to our client was having access to stats um, on admin page for each tutor to see the hours and the ratings. and. If they go to the ratings, they can see uh, for each tutor 
um, what was the points that they that were given and also um, a total point for that uh, tutor um, and the other tab contains the uh, number of hours and that is uh, very important for the client because um, that is how they get the units um, for what they do in CS370.